Hey Luke Kaiser, and welcome to Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Well, I'm finally back with a brand new chapter in the game. The last chapter that we had was March 9th, 2023, and it went out into April. So that's great. It seems like they're staggering it every single time. But we finally have a new chapter, which is great. Let me just... Because I'm all over the map here. I've agreed to Veruca's deal and looped Mad-Eye Moody in on it. Will everything go according to plan? But first, your friend in the infirmary has awoken. Why is she there again? Oh, it was Barnaby. Why did I think it was Marula or something? I don't know. Barnaby, I'm so glad that you're awake. So am I, although my head still hurts a bit. Oh yeah, that's right, now I know what happened. I'm so sorry my dad put you in here, Barnaby. Me too. I knew what I was getting myself into. I knew going with you was going to be dangerous. I hadn't expected this to happen, though. <laughs> Neither did I, but Madame Pomfrey says I'm alright. Now stop being sad. What happened while I was unconscious? Quite a bit, Barnaby. Let me fill you in on the details. Yeah, fill me in too, please. Because I thought you were Marula. Let's never speak of that again. Blimey, I did miss a lot. I'm glad your brother saved us. Though, I wish I had been strong enough to do that. And I'm glad that Professor Dumbledore knows everything. I'm rubbish at keeping secrets. Oh, my recording got wonky on me, so I lost a little bit of the dialogue. But, we're at the point now where it says, But Veruca's scarier than ten Dementors put together. I'm just worried about you. Everything will be fine. I'm worried too. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I do not like the attribute system in the game. It just bogs things down in my opinion. It shouldn't even be there. I just want to be able to play the story, not have to worry about locked stuff and everything. But that's just my opinion. Everything will be fine, Barnaby. Jake and I have a plan. You're so cool, Casey. You're always so confident. What's your plan, though? We revolt Mad-Eye and the Aurors. They're going to be there when we steal the amulet. I see. I mean, not really, because I wasn't there, but... Oh, my head. I'm afraid you'll have to leave, Mr. Casey. Mr. Lee needs his rest. I understand, Madame Pomfrey. Get some rest, Barnaby. I'll try. Please be careful, Casey. Barnaby. I can't let Dad hurt anyone else. I need to get in touch with Maruka so we can discuss her plan to steal Davy Saki's amulet. I like how Madame Pomfrey has her <laughs> key just hanging there. Thank you for agreeing to meet with us, Maruka. Why do you look like that? We're in public. I'm not about to get myself caught up with you two. Oh, oh, I don't know what that said. We're not going anywhere if we keep questioning each other. What's your plan, Veruca? How are we going to steal Daryutaki's amulet from Dad? It is quite simple. Even the two of you will understand it. You two will act as baits. I will use my imperious curse on your father and make him hand over the amulet. You want us to use Imperio on our dad? Absolutely not. He may be evil, but he's still our dad. I won't allow you to use Unforgivable Curse on him. Agree with Jacob. Consider Veruca's plan. I think we should do it because by any means necessary, as long as we don't kill him. We can't disregard Veruca's plan right away, Jacob. What? Are you serious? At least one of you can see reason. Using Imperial will be the quickest way to retrieve the amulet. We are not using the Imperial's curse, and that's final. Then, what do you suggest? I'm sure the three of us can come up with an agreement on a plan. Let's explore some other options. What is the Imperial's curse again? It sounds bad, but I'm sure it doesn't kill him. And like I said, as long as he doesn't die by any means necessary. I forget a lot of the stuff that did this happen in the game, especially with curses and stuff. I know some of them, 
But I just forget a lot of them and yeah. I'm not very good at remembering stuff. I'll definitely look up the Imperious Curse afterwards. Maybe I'll put it on the screen, I don't know. Oh, I looked it up, it was the controlling one. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't use that. All right, I have an idea. Vruga, you have a meeting with Dad soon, right? Correct. Then that is when we'll strike. You'll meet with him like normal. Then when it is time, Vruga will give a signal and Jacob will apparate in to cause a distraction. And what will the signal phrase from Vruga be? That's a shame. I think someone is listening in. Your plan was a failure. I, I would say maybe the first one. I mean, I know our dad thinks that Vruka is still with us, so any option is fine, I guess. But we'll go with the first one. Vruka will say, that's a shame. That will be your cue to operate in. I'll be sure to listen in for that phrase. And how do you factor into this plan, Casey? You said dad had been more paranoid than usual, so he won't let anyone he doesn't trust close to him. So, I'll use my invisibility cloak to hide. While Jacob is causing a scene, I'll sneak up and snatch the amulet. What do you think? It is a weak plan. It's better than using the Imperius Curse. I disagree, but there's not much time before I meet with your father. We will go with this new plan, but if it does not work, I am taking matters into my own hands. I will contact you when the time is right. What is stopping her from doing her plan right away, though? I'll send an owl to Mad-Eye when Vruka tells us and when and where this is going to happen. Good. Hopefully we'll be able to mobilize the ores quickly, though. It is time to save our dad from this curse. I hope so. Well, it looks like I have to do the lessons first. Which means, usually when this happens, crazy stuff are usually going to go down. So I'll have to get all the stuff done first, all these assignments, and then I'll be back. The next day. Huh. <sighs> well, finally, all that's complete. Let's move on to the chapter, though, into Nocturne Alley. We're going to try and steal the Zamlets. Part of me has a lot of doubts that we're actually going to do it, but we're going to find out. Looks like we beat Faruka here. Well, since we're alone, let's go over the plan one more time. Good idea. Ruka's gonna lead Dad to believe that they're meeting to talk about the failed experiment. And I'll be listening for Ruka to say, that's a shame. Right, then you operate in and cause a scene. I'll use the distraction to steal the amulet from Dad. You have your invisibility cloak, right? Yes, I've got it right here. I sent word to Mad-Eye too. He said he'll be here with a team of ores. If anything goes wrong before we get the amulet, he's going to interrupt. Alright. It looks like Faruka's coming out of the shop. Let's get in our places. He looks like he has some suspicion. Or... He seems upset. The experiment was a failure. Everything we worked towards was all for nothing. The potion you brewed was not strong enough. If you'd done it right, then everything would have worked. Mm. Excuse me? It is your fault that the experiment did not work. I never should have left something so vital to you. The experiment didn't work and that's a shame, but don't blame this on me. What? What are you doing here? Dad, we need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. You have made your choice. Such a disappointment, too. The only one here who's disappointing is you. You ungrateful. Oh! There's me. Hold on. I need a good 
screenshot from a thumbnail. Jacob just got dad distracted. Not as much chance to steal the amulets. Yeah, uh, there's me in the side. Boo! <laughs> What? Oh no, did... Did she tell him the plan, Veruca? The Pulso! Okay, see? What is going on here? I'll be taking that amulet, Peregrine. All of you get out of my way. Well, it says stay back, and I guess I don't have a choice, I'm gonna have to. But my other options are jump in front of Dad and jump in front of Jacob. Obviously, I would have jumped in front of Jacob, let's just be honest. I think most people would have. If there was like a poll, it probably would have been like 95%. Or people are just doing it just because they want to see what happens. Oh no, what's gonna actually happen to him though? He's gonna be mind controlled, right? What happened? I was too busy doing the screenshot. Jacob! He's alive! Mad Eye, let's go. We have to get Jacob to say Mungo's. Wow. So I don't really know what happened there, unfortunately, because like I said, I was trying to take a screenshot. Maybe she meant to hit Jacob? Or maybe just she veered off. I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and look. But look like he's going to be okay, which is good. That went pretty much as bad as you could expect. Madame Strode, are you in charge of Jacob's care? Oh. I am. You know, I had hoped to see you back here, Mr. Casey, but so you're not under these circumstances. Hmm. How is Jacob? Is he alright? What happened? Hmm. That's exactly why I'm here. I have some news regarding your brother's condition. Well, he's alive, but to what extent, we'll find out. A thought that actually just occurred to me as well. If I had jumped in front of Jacob, does that mean our dad would have been hurt? Or would it not have mattered and Jacob would have been hurt anyways? Maybe anybody who's playing can let me know down below. That would be great. So, Jacob is alright? He's not hurt? Preliminary tests show that your brother is fine. When he wakes, we'll be checking for other symptoms. But don't worry, I'll be watching over your brother closely. I do need to check on him now, but you're more than welcome to go sit with him once I've finished. Thank you, Madame Stroud. I should not have taken advantage of your deal with Veruca. I should have prevented you two from going. I regret taking the deal. I don't regret taking the deal. Did I have a choice back then? Because again, these chapters are so far spread apart, I don't remember. But if I had a choice, I'm going to assume that I would have probably chose no. So it leads me to believe I had no choice. You know what, I think I'm gonna go, I don't regret taking the deal because I don't think Jacob regretted it either. I don't regret taking the deal, Mad-Eye. The meeting may have not gone as planned, but I couldn't have predicted that. And separating my dad from David Usaki's cursed amulet is a priority. The highest priority, KZ, is capturing your father and Veruca. About my dad, what are the Orcs going to do next? I have the team scouting London for your father and Veruca. So, you're hunting both of them? 
Hey, and nothing will change that. Your father and Veruca's aunt are far too dangerous to let roam free. We'll be hunting them down and bringing them in, dead or alive. A word of advice, Casey. What is it? Forget about your father. Focus on Jacob. He needs you now. I'll go see if he's ready for visitors. Jacob's going to want to know what happened after he was hurt. Well, guess what? I am way ahead of you. I honestly don't care what happened to my dad. At least until we get the amulet. Then we'll see if he's still okay or not. Because we don't know if the amulet's causing it or not. We assume so, obviously. But we really don't know. My guess though is we're going to be a happy family when this is all over. Hey Jacob, I know you're sleeping and can't exactly talk back, but, well, Madame Chat once told me that speaking to patients who are unconscious can help them. There's so much I want to talk about with you. Let me tell you everything that's on my mind. Oh, someone brought him a little stuffy. That's nice. I don't know what it is. My time at Hogwarts is coming to a close and our dad is being hunted down by Aurors. I wish we could talk. Perhaps you'd have some brotherly advice for me. Well, I suppose you should let you rest. I'll come visit you soon, Jacob. Casey? Jacob, you're awake! Yeah, and the light is hurting my eyes. Where am I? What happened? We're at St. Mungo's. Mad Eye brought us here after you were injured by Veruca. Okay, so she did go after him. I kind of figured because he was kind of out of the way. Ugh, right. How do you feel? Like I've been run over by a Hogwarts Express and someone stuck a thousand needles in my head? I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize, you got me to safety, I should be thanking you. It's my fault you're here. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome, Jacob. I don't know what would have happened if you weren't there. And I'm glad Mad Eye was there too. You sure you were injured, man? Looks like something else. Oh no. He can't see, can he? KC? What's wrong, Jacob? I'm right here. But I can't see you. What? Do you mean? Uh, I can't see you. You make the hardest task look easy. Wow. If he was actually blinded forever, which I don't think is going to actually happen, that's quite a twist. But I don't think it's going to happen. I don't know. I don't look at the data mine stuff or anything. I'm sure this has already been unveiled. But I don't know that. I'm assuming this is temporary. And eventually everything's going to be okay. But it looks like nothing really changed, and now Jacob can't see. So we're, <laughs> we're off to a great start, I guess. And this is after like five weeks of waiting. Will we have to wait five weeks again? Probably. But that is chapter 54. Let me know down below, though, what do you think of chapter 54 and what went down? So this guy from a Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery videos, and I will see you with uh, chapter 55, I guess. Whenever that's going to happen, it's said Hogwarts mystery. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody!